Hello, this is Hockey to Bean, and today we are going to SCP-2743. If you like this video, please put a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. This is Level 2, 2743 Classified. Item Number, SCP-2743. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures Any types of UD area of space containing SCP-2743 via high-powered telescope are to be covertly sabotaged. Due to the size of SCP-2743 instances and instances from the Earth, academic and government-backed astronomy centers are the only institutions that require monitoring. Observation and all satellites have been placed in orbit around each instance as well as three Surface probes equivalent with thermonuclear devices with a yield of approximately 30 megatons. Okay, horrible work environment where you know that your site could be literally nuked at a moment's notice. In the event of, dis of discovery, a cover story is to be disseminated among the astronomy community, attributing all findings to a practical joke. The original publisher of the report or photographs is to be discredited by any means necessary. At this point, the thermonuclear probes must be detonated to prevent a broken masquerade scenario. And so, oh, suddenly, Korea is just missing. Because of the continual advancements in the field of astronomy and space exploration, the discovery of SCP-2743 is considered an innovative Inevitability. If it remains in its current orbit, as such, the ongoing development of physical methods for SCP-2743 instances is a class four priority. Or if you actually read your own numerals correctly, that's a class Jupiter priority. I will not let that go. Description: SCP is 2743 designates four organic satellites within the Saturn's feed ring. The feed ring is made primarily of debris from Phoebe orbit Saturn at a distance of 180 to 250 radii. The ring itself has a thickness of 40 radii. I don't know what that means, but okay. These satellites, ranging from 2 kilometers to 5 kilometers in length, have been identified as the corpses of four Jotnar class humanoid entities. An anomalous species of extra dimensional entities referred to by noise pathology as Jotun or giants. Oh, they're the giants. Documented as SCP 2743 1 through SCP-2743-4. All four instances were discovered wearing armor and clothing resembling tents and dream depictions of North mythological warriors. Addendum 2743-A Report 2743-1 Discovery February 23, 2000 Rear orbital satellite re revealed SCP-2743-1, approximately 13 GM from Saturn's outer atmosphere. Subject. Subject is a humanoid entity measuring 22.1 kilometers in length with the physical appearance of a human female between 8 to 10 years of age. Notes. Subject appears to have expired due to blunt force trauma to the zygomatic and maxilla region which caused the entity's facial structure to collapse inward. A large portion of the subject's hair has been forcibly removed along with three fingers from its left hand. Report 2743-2 Discovery 2003 May 13th Rear Orbital Satellites Revealed 2743-2 and SCP-2743-3 in close proximity. Subs are approximately 15 in GM from Saturn's outer atmosphere. Subject SCP 2743 
He too is a humanoid entity measuring 2.9 kilometers of length, resembling a human male, approximately 13 to 14 years of age. SCP-2743-3 is a humanoid entity a measuring 3.8 kilometers in length. Zodiac's body structure correlates to a human female of approximately 35 to 40 years of age. Notes. SCP-2743-2 was found with its third arnum shattered and its ribcage separated from the ocate vertebrae outwards. SCP-2743-2's lungs have not been removed and no, have been removed and stretched over its ribcage. This resembles a technique referred to by Nordic cultures as the blood eagle. Based on collagen formation at the sites of ribs that fractured or the lungs. SCP-2743-2 remained in this state for a extended period of time. Additionally, self-defense injuries were noted on its hands and in forearms. SCP-2743-3 was found holding SCP-2743-2. The likely cause of death is decapitation. The location of SCP-2743-3's head is unknown. Report 274334 Discovery Due to its orbital location, 274334 was discovered on 2006, September 28, by the Rhea uh, orbital satellite, approximately 10 GM from Saturn's out, no, approximately 17 GM from Saturn's outer atmosphere. Subject SCP 2743 is a humanoid entity measuring 4.6 kilometers in length with the physical appearance of a human male between 35 and 45 years of age. <sighs> Notes. The surface of scp 2743 4s body is covered in severe Lichtenberg figure. Lichtenberg figures are tree-like patterns that may appear on the skin of lightning strike victims. Scarring. The subject's ocular, nasal, and oral passage show signs of Charring and necrosis. The likely cause of death is repeated exposure to high voltage electrical currents. An object resembling a 10th century Norse sword measuring 3 kilometers in length was placed through SCP 2743 4's head on the, longitudinal, uh, uh, on the longitudinal axis, exiting the torso via the groin. Evidence indicates this was done posthumously. A granite slab measuring 1.1 kilometers in length was discovered near 2743-4. The slab does a 2743-4A has large screws etched into the surface. See SCP-2743-4A translation. Anyway, let's see what ICR means before we continue. The Asir were one of the two main tribes of deities worshipped by Norse religions. Okay, now let's actually read the poem. Behold, man, the treachery of Asir. Lion of S Utinger, rest in cold carn. Weep for poetry lost. Drink and remember oaths sworn. Our peace ended in bloods. Ragnarok beckons. So apparently thousands of years ago, or I think hundreds of years ago, I'm not really sure. Or maybe it was thousands of years ago, according to the mythology of the Norse. Anyway, apparently it seems like these subjects were, well, subject to brutal o o o murders before they were somehow transported to Saturn's rings. Anyway, that was SCP-2743. If you liked this video, please like out the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!